Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will talk about what is a tree in data structures and algorithm. In computer science, a tree is a widely used data structure that represents a hierarchical relationship between elements. Trees are composed of nodes that are connected by edges. Each node typically contains a value or data and may have zero or more child nodes. We have three types of tree data structures. We have binary tree in which each node can have a maximum of two children linked to it. <clears throat> Some examples are complete binary tree or balanced binary trees. And then we have ternary trees, which are the tree in which uh, each node has at most three children nodes, usually distinguished as left, middle, and right. And then we have N-ray tree or generic tree, which is a collection of nodes where each node is a data structure that consists of records and a list of references to its children. Before we get to common type of trees in data structure and algorithm, let's talk about some key concepts and must know terminology related to trees. Let's start by talking about root. The topmost node of a tree is called root. It is the starting point of traversing the tree. Next, let's talk about the nodes. Each element in a tree data structure is called a node. Nodes contain data and pointers to their child nodes. Age is the connection between nodes in a tree. It represents a relationship or link between nodes. And a parent node is a node that has one or more child nodes connected to it. Child nodes are the nodes that are connected to parents' nodes. Child nodes are at a lower level in the hierarchy compared to their parents. And leaf nodes are a node with no children. It is a terminal node in the tree. Internal node is a node with at least one child. Internal nodes are not leaf nodes. The term depth refers to the length of the path from the root to a particular node. The depth of the root node is typically considered to be zero and the height is the maximum depth of any node in the tree the height of a tree is the length of the longest path from the root to a leaf node trees are used in various applications and algorithms including representing hierarchical data such as file system and organizational chart implementing search and indexing structures such as binary search tree avl trees and b trees and facilitating efficient algorithms such as tree traversal, sorting, and dynamic programming. There are several types of tree in data structure and algorithms, each with its own characteristics and applications. Let's talk about some of the most common types of trees. During the next couple of minutes, we will look at the basic concepts of binary tree, binary search tree or BST, balanced binary tree, heap, tri, which is also called digital tree or prefix tree, b tree, red and black tree, avl tree, and segment tree. Also, we're going to look at the basic concept of a ternary search tree. Let's start by talking about one of the most talked about tree, which is binary tree. Binary tree is a tree in which each node has at most two children, typically referred to as the left child and the right child. Binary search tree, or BST, is a binary tree in which the left child of a node contains a value less than the node's value, and the right child contains a value greater than the child's value, or the node's value. This property enables efficient searching, insertion, and deletion operations. Next is balanced binary tree which is a binary tree in which the heights of the left and right subtrees of any node differ by at most one. Example includes AVL trees, red black trees, and B trees. Balanced trees help maintain efficient operations by ensuring that the tree remains relatively symmetric. Now let's talk about heap, which is a specialized binary tree-based data structure that satisfies the heap property. A heap can be a minimum heap or a max heap, where the smallest, which is the mean heap, or largest max heap element is always at the root. Heaps are commonly used in priority queues and heap sort algorithms. Now let's talk about tri, which is also called digital tree or prefix tree. 
Try is a tree data structure used for efficient retrieval of keys in a large data set of strings. Try nodes represent characters and each path from the root to a leaf node forms a unique string. B-tree is a self-balancing tree data structure designed to maintain sorted data and allow searches, insertions, and deletions in algorithmic time. B-trees are commonly used in database and file system due to their efficient handling of large data sets and support for range queries. Red and black trees, a type of a self-balancing binary tree where each node has an extra bit representing its color red or black. The tree maintains balance by following specific rules during insertion and deletion operations. ABL tree is another type of self-balancing binary search tree where the height of the left and right subtrees of every node differs by at most one. ABL trees perform rotations to maintain balance after insertion and deletions. And then the segment tree is a tree data structure used for sorting information about intervals or segments of an array. Segment trees enables efficient queries and updates on ranges of elements in an array. Ternary search tree is a type of a tree-based tree data structure used for storing and searching dictionary words efficiently. Ternary search trees are practically useful in applications like spell checking and autocomplete. These are just a few examples of the tree data structures commonly used in computer science and algorithms. Each type of trees has its own advantages and is suitable for different kind of problems and applications. This will conclude this session. Let me know if you have any questions.